My name is Dr. Joseph Hewitt. I'm uh, one of the founding partners of Pacific Interventionalists and Synergy Health Concepts. And I'm here because the simple answer is Michelle asked me to come here. I guess the more complicated answer is that uh, there's a really desperate need, I think, to raise awareness for CCSVI and a real desperate need on the part of patients to be able to ask a physician questions that uh, they can't get answers to uh, up here in Canada currently. If I had a, a theme for this whole last month in Western Canada, I'd call it the Open Mind Tour. I don't think anyone, Michelle isn't, I'm not, I don't think anybody who sits in these rooms is asking any of the, the medical establishment to change their belief system. Nobody's asking you to give up your religion in any way, right? We're just asking people to open their minds, consider supplementing what they believe with a new possibility. First of all, you have to understand that this procedure, it's, it's venous angioplasty. It's one of the, the, the simplest and most routine things that we do in our practice. So we just, we do it about 10,000 times per year and we don't even think twice about it. It's very unusual to suddenly have MS patients literally drop from the sky and say, you know, can you do this for us? And in that specific sense, it's been like a reawakening, I think, for some of us to be able to have these responses from patients to have, you know, change their lives and, and really, like Michelle said, open up completely different avenues in just how they live on a day-to-day -day basis. In our practice, about 70 to 80 percent of the patients who come to us have a clinical benefit. On a personal level, if someone says to me three years from now that I'm wrong in some way, so be it. Or that, you know, the way I've been doing it is not completely right, so be it. But I'm open to that. And I think that all physicians should be open in some manner to at least considering a practice that has been around forever that is now being employed in a, a different fashion, in a safe manner, that is having very significant anecdotal results. I'm not here to say you have to listen to these people. I'm just here to try and answer questions in a truthful manner. I don't believe that everybody who wants the procedure should be able to get it immediately right now, on the one hand. I don't believe that they should be denied the procedure, on the other hand. But somewhere in the middle, treating patients and researching it and moving forward with an open mind, I don't think that's too much to ask.